Yes, yeah, so we've had a few questions on this. <laughs> so we've got the moral obligation and then the legal one. Um, so so the, it's all dependent on what the contract of employment says. So if the contract of employment indicates that the employer is required to give statutory notice, that's one week for each completed year of service, then the employee should receive full pay whilst working their notice, albeit on furlough. If the notice required to be given by the employer is at least one week more than the statutory minimum, then the employee can be paid just furlough pay, which might be reduced, agreed reduced furlough pay 80%. Um, for their notice period um, and again that will be recovered from the furlough fund as will the full pay 80% of the full pay in the first scenario can be recovered from the furlough fund so I appreciate that morally employers may say well well shouldn't we be paying 100% of the pay and not recover anything from the fund um, maybe but that isn't what the, the law says, the law says you can recover it. Okay. So staying on, uh, staying on morals, ignoring the, the, the moral implication, is your opinion that an employer could pay notice pay at 80% where the notice is longer than the statutory min minimum as per the ERA 96? Um, no. You see, I, in your opinion, an employer could pay notice pay at eighty percent. No, oh, it is if it's longer. So if it is at least one week more than the statutory minimum notice, then yes, they will. They can be paid at the furlough fund rate. Yes, at the furlough at furlough pay rate. Yeah, and the employer does not need to top it up to one hundred percent. Okay, great. Thank you for that um, clarification. Although the government and, and Martin Lewis are advising at the 100%, aren't they? Yes, I think that's what they're saying. But that mm -hmm. isn't what the legislation says. 